playing a ballad today. It had to be you. It really falls under the fingers uh, for guitar, and it's short phrases that end on held chords, so there's a lot of room for improvising, as always, especially with, with a ballad. Take it slow, try and get it smooth. So it starts off with a, um, a one, six, two, five, and we're only going to get the first three of those chords. So the pickup, a uh, couple of ways to think about it, you know, the actual notes are going D, E, D, E. Um, it's in the key of G, by the way. So if I say an F, I might be meaning F sharp. Um, think of it as, you know, f uh, five, six, five, six, seven of the chord that's coming up. And the one chord is going to be a G major seven. Played like that. That kind of a, uh, what do you hear me call pianistic because it's linear. It goes from root, third, fifth, seven. Okay? I love the sound of it. So, um, you're going like this. Four beats. For the next measure, you can either rest for the first beat or you can hold this chord all the way over into that next measure. Um, the melody builds. We ended it on the F note, the F sharp that we're holding for that G major seven. Um, we're gonna do the same rhythmic pattern that whole note followed by eighth notes ending on the end of four and holding it uh, for four beats. So it's ba 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 ba. That's the pattern for the whole song. So we're on our G. We've held it. The, coming in on the two. E7, it's right there. Easy. Okay, should be a familiar shape. It's probably one of the first ones you learned. Same thing, we're gonna hold it. Gonna get to the one of the next measure. Take a rest. Uh, the chord shape is gonna change here when we get to the two. And in this case, the two is gonna be a dominant chord. Um, we're gonna, I notate it as a ninth. You're not going to hold it for the whole four beats. Um, you'll see the pickup comes again. Since you're already down here, I finger these notes here. Okay, G and A. So you're going to the seventh and the root of that chords. Next time around, you're actually going to take that seventh, that minor seventh, and make it a G sharp. So it goes. I think it's important to emphasize that note. Um, and uh, one last time there, you're gonna end on the A9 and hold it. So that's where we'll end part one, and I'll meet you later for part two.